Alicia Keys was younger than your average college grad when she skyrocketed to fame on the sheer force of her talent. A classically trained pianist with a soulful voice, Keys is R&B royalty. And with a new album, Girl on Fire, hitting stores next week, we sat down to talk about love, passion, and the little guy who's changed her world. It's a Nightline interview. Alicia Keys seems to be living her new hit. This girl is on fire. She's walking on fire. This girl is on fire, I'm embarrassed to say, has become <laughs> my new hairbrush song. Ow! You make all of us think that we can sing even when we can't. I love it! Yeah, but see, you can really sing it. This girl is on fire. The song came from a feeling and this feeling of like kind of finding my own space and my own place to be myself to be my own full self love it or hate it whatever the case here I am and here's me at 31 she says she's come into her own I'm more excited about this album than I've been for any record ever and that's saying something her first single fallen debuted at number one. She recorded it here in her tiny walk-up apartment in Harlem. We lived on the sixth floor, this one right here. She was only 17. Oh, well, there's like a real skinny hallway when yep. you first come in. Right. <laughs> yes. And then there's like a really skinny kitchen. You remember right exactly, here. right? Yeah, right in the there. front, there was like the living room right here. I first met Alicia just about that time. And even then, with songs like A Woman's Worth, her talent and her drive were already clear. Cause a real man knows a real woman when he sees her. I asked her back then. What's the perfect day for you? Wow, the perfect day for me, I have, I, this is my perfect day. Do you remember what it was? You said a perfect day would be waking up at three in the afternoon mm. and reading a book. Mm. Still sounds perfect. Back then, and you tell me if I'm right, it did seem to be all about the work. Oh my gosh, you kidding me? I mean, it was totally all about the work. First of all, you know, I grew up with my mother, who was my everything, and a single parent, and she had to work her behind off. And so she also instilled that in me, because being a young girl growing up in the city, I mean, you have to be busy or you're going to get lost. At 16, she graduated top of her class and was admitted to Columbia University. But then Columbia Records called. A month into college, she quit. I had to focus on the music if I was going to make it work. I had, alternately, I had to focus on school if I was going to make it work. I had to focus on something, but I couldn't kind of juggle the two. It turned out OK. Her first album, Songs in A Minor, was awarded five Grammys. Her follow-up with, if I ain't got you. And you don't know my name, won her four more. You know, it's fair to say you grew up very early. You know, I think a lot of my life I did live ahead of myself so much. Like, what was going to happen in two weeks? What was going to happen in one month? What was going to happen, you know, how can I get there? And so... And that's, a, that's not a bad thing, you know, to have vision and dreams for yourself. And you're a perfectionist to boot. Especially then, that was all I had was the, the chance to show and prove that I was good at it. That's a hard way to live. I think I've lightened up a bit on myself um, as of recently. What <laughs> reason might that be? Really meeting my husband, I think. Kasim Dean otherwise known as hip-hop producer Swiss Beats. The two met 10 years ago, but the spark wasn't there. He was a little over the top for me. So just as a person, I kind of was like, hmm, he's all right, he's a little loud. <laughs> Come to find out he's still loud. And I think we've actually both balanced each other out in a bit. He's given me the freedom to spread and be a little bit more open. And, and I've given him the freedom to actually kind of maybe calm down a bit. Why do you think he makes you feel safe? Because that's really what you're talking about. He wants me to be everything that I can be, you know? And that is a rare, rare thing. But there is another guy in her life, and you can hear him on her new album, The Baby. <laughs> I can't even say The Baby without you. <laughs> I'm just waiting. 
<laughs> I was waiting for the next line before I got too syrupy. You know what I mean? Because you just what happens? You just turn into a syrup. <laughs> what was your name? Egypt. Oh man, I love you. I love you. Bye bye. He's on a song called "When It's All Over," which is so beautiful. The chorus goes, "When they lay me down, put my soul to rest. When they ask me how I spent my life, at least I got to love you." You know, I feel that way about my husband. I feel that way about my son. And you like being a mother so much. Do you expect, are there going to be more little babies? I would love to have some more. Some, definitely at least one more, for sure. At least one more. But I have to finish this album. I have to finish this tour. I have to finish this stuff first, because the juggle is something. If it all sounds rosy and bright now, things started out on rougher ground. When Keyes and Dean got together, he had a one-year-old and had just separated from his wife. A month later, he had a daughter with another woman. So it started off a little rocky. Hmm. Keyes says things are working well now with Egypt and his three siblings. So three brothers and a sister. And the way that they love each other, it's it's crazy. It's it's It's... It's, it's really special. You have a big brood. I do. I actually do. It's just a brand new kind of me. Well, you're certainly bucking the odds. I mean, they always say you can't have it all at the same time. I do believe that you can have it all. You can have everything that you want, you know? If you want it and you want to work for it, you can have it. Don't be mad. It's just a brand new